when they see the real friendship in you. When they see the real star shine in you. Oh, I'll never find the right ending. When they hear the real music in you. That's it! Sorry, I heard you singing and, well, the words just kind of came to me. Am I ever glad they did? Thank you. It's perfect. Would it be okay if I used your words in my song? Of course. I'm Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. This is Pupcake and Custard. Oh, so cute. And what's your name? Uh... Buttercup. Nice to meet you, Buttercup. Are you... <laughs> Do you smell cherry blossoms? Oh, um... <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't smell anything except strawberries. Uh, you were asking? Oh, uh, yes, I, I was gonna ask if you're out here alone. Uh-huh, just sort of driving through and I've always wanted to have a picnic. You've never had a picnic before? Uh, well, no. Well, I'll let you enjoy. It was nice to meet you, Buttercup. Nice meeting you, too. Thank you for your help. Sure. Come on, guys. Back to the harvest. <sighs> Just like I hoped it would be. Cheers! <laughs> of the Cherry Jam Fan Club would like to extend a very big welcome to you and your entire entourage. <laughs> My entourage? You know, the people who go everywhere with you and wait on you hand and foot. Well, I kind of thought it'd be fun to kind of get away and come here on my own. I don't have an entourage with me. You do now! Uh, about Strawberry. Oh, shush. We're keeping you a secret until tomorrow. Come park over here. Here she comes! Make way for Cherry Jam! Superstar! You're probably wondering why I called you here today. Because, uh, we're having book club here today? Besides that. You, uh, figured out who's missing? Aha! Close! It's because I've almost figured out who's missing. Just a few more questions, and this case will be closed like a door slammed in a strong wind. My keen detective mind tells me the answers to those questions are in... this very room! What, uh, sorts of questions? What is this person's favorite food? That'd be muffins. Aha! Especially blueberry muffins. Aha! What about hobbies? Uh, uh well, um, uh, oh, she loves to read books. Aha! It's a girl! You said she! I've gathered the clues and I'm putting them together. She likes the color blue and has a suspicious fondness for blueberry muffins. She likes to read books and should be here at book club if she weren't missing. And the only person like that is... Yeah? Well, who is it? Come on, the suspense is too much. The only person like that is... Me. Oh, Way to go! Right. It's you already. You did it, Blueberry. You solved the mystery. So I'm the missing person? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, uh, guess I haven't been around so much lately, huh? And we've been missing you. Come quick, everyone, to the grove! Just look, look, look! Plan to spot us a spread to everything. That does not look good. It's as bad as a curse. And watch this, it gets worse. <laughs> Your glimmerberry sparkles didn't stick. 
Indeed. And if the sparkles do not stick, the glimmerberry cannot be harvested. But if the glimmerberries can't be harvested, oh, there will be no power to run the town. There has to be something we can do. Whatever are we going to do? Maybe Blueberry can help us. Me? You could do some research with your books. I'm very sure you can find a way to stop the Platus Spotus. I can try. this book, we need half a smidgen of this. Yes, yes, that's just what it says. And this book says we need a quarter pinch of this. Now, let me check my notes. Yes, it says it right there. Page 324. Indeed, it does. And finally, a little dash of this. There, that ought to do it. I hope this works. Give it a second. to be back. I guess I didn't make a good detective anyway. You made a very fine detective, but you make an even better friend. And that's no mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Having trouble writing your election speech? Uh, not my speech. My resignation letter. Resignation? <laughs> Here you're dropping out of the election? Yes. I don't want to run for Berry Fresh Princess anymore. But why not? It's a great honor, you know. And we really need a Berry Fest Princess. I know. But the election is causing too much trouble. Everyone has to make a choice between Orange and me, and it doesn't seem right. We've always been about friends and togetherness. But now, everyone in town is forced to pick one or the other. And some don't know who to vote for and are unhappy. So... So, I think it's best if I drop out of the race. I'm not sure you're seeing why people should have a choice of who to vote for. You think it's, if you vote for me, you like me, and if you vote for her, you like her. But it's not really about that. It sure feels that way. Voting shouldn't be about who anyone likes, but the choice they're offering. And it's good to have different choices in things. A choice in what you want to eat for lunch, or, or what to wear, or anything. And you know that just because the people of Barry Bitty City might not agree on who to vote for, they can still get along. You and your friends have different opinions, yet you all get along. Isn't that right? We do. <laughs> well, most of the time. Too bad my own campaign managers don't. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Great. How about mine? Wonderful. Huh? Hi, Hi strawberry. strawberry. I see you two are getting along. Mm-hmm. We realized we weren't getting anything done not working together. 
So, we made a plan of how to work together. I do the posters my way. And I do the buttons my way. And then we both help each other hand out the buttons and hang up the posters. And most of all, we are both nice no matter what. That's the very best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> so good that it makes me want to write a speech about it. So, like I said, I believe in less planning and more doing. Hmm, more doing. Sounds good to me. Sometimes you just have to jump right in to get things done here in Berry Bitty City. And if you vote for me for Berry Fest Princess, you'll be voting for yourself. Well, actually not yourself, but me. But you know what I mean. I think it would be fun to be Berry Fest Princess. So vote for me! Thank you, Orange Blossom, for that wonderful election speech. <laughs> And now, to hear from our second candidate, Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs> I agree that being Berry Fest Princess will be fun, but it will also be hard work. And I'm ready for that. And I believe in more planning before doing. More planning. Sounds good. So I guess I don't agree with Orange on everything. But that doesn't mean that we don't get along. I was very confused by this election. I wanted to be Berry Fest Princess, but I also wanted my friend Orange to be too. So running against Orange made me confused. And I think it may be confusing a lot of you too. Then I realized that there are good reasons to vote for both of us, different reasons. And so everyone in Berry Bitty City has a chance to choose. And choosing isn't bad. Even though we have different opinions, we all get along. Just remember, no matter who you choose, we'll always, always, always be friends. No matter what. Yeah! Yeah! Now that we've heard the candidates' speeches, it's time to vote! Yeah! Now remember, orange for orange and red for strawberry. We've voted, it's time to count the votes. Now, names and lights, a world tour, bands everywhere. 
everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Strawberry and the Berryettes. How about Strawberry and the Berry Berries? <laughs> <laughs> strawberry and the Sweetie Sweets? Strawberry and the Berry Beets? How about Strawberry and the Sweet Beets? Yeah! <laughs> But, Cherry, it should be your band. Well, you had the idea and got us to practice. I've had enough of the limelight, so I hope you don't mind, Strawberry. But the Berry Big City Bitty Games needs a band for the opening ceremony. They called me, but I suggested your band, and sent a tape. And they said yes! <laughs> So much to do. I have to pack. But what do I pack? Oh, uh, I'll need a jacket if it's cold. And shorts if it's hot. Galoshes if it rains. <laughs> Take it easy, Raspberry. You don't even know when we're going. When are we going, Cherry? Tomorrow. <gasps> Tomorrow? There's so much to do. Wait, Wait for, for us! us. Wow, we're going to Berry Big City. That's a long way. <laughs> uh, uh, how are we gonna get there? Oh, I thought we'd just take my tour bus. Oh. Uh, how long will we be gone? A long time, I bet. <sighs> well, I better get packing. Me too. Are you coming, Orange? Yeah, right behind you. I love it! So cute! I've never heard that story before. Do you know if there's ever been a play version of it published? Let's do a search. Hmm. Hmm. I don't see that there has. Well... Could you and Huck adapt this story to a play for me? Of course! Oh, this is I'm gonna so be great! Excited, Huck. I know just the Berry Fairy Tale to turn into a play. So, welcome all to the first reading of our version of The Littlest Berrykin. Use your imaginations to picture the story. Imagine our stage and a backdrop like this. The narrator begins. Orange, this will be your part. Once upon a time, there was a king and queen, played by me and Blueberry. The king and queen were ready to retire to the tropics, but before departing, it was necessary to pick one of their three daughters to rule the kingdom. It all began one day as the princesses were playing croquet. Of course, they'll pick me. I'm the oldest. Well, you are the oldest, but that doesn't mean you are best fit to rule. The obvious choice is me. Oh, it's hot. I'm roasting out here. Sorry, Your Royal Highness. Is that better, Princess Raspolina? Cooler now, Your Royal Highness. Well, I am the prettiest. Therefore, it should stand to reason Mummy and Daddy will pick me. <laughs> Your turn, Strawberryta. Hurry up, little sister. Hmm. Oh, she's so slow. They'll never pick her. You're not so speedy yourself, Lemonella. Well, I love berries. I've never heard such nonsense. Ooh. Well oh, done. You did it. Oh, oh, <laughs> Thank you. I think she cheated. My thoughts exactly. Lemonella, how can they be your thoughts when they were my thoughts and my thoughts first? Razbelina, just because you told me your thoughts first doesn't mean you thought them first. <laughs> You are such a thunderhead. Mummy and Daddy will never pick you to rule the kingdom. There is no other choice but me, because I am the choice that is best. <laughs> Sisters, please. <gasps> There's no need to fight. Our royal parents will make the best choice, and whichever of us they choose, the others of us will support. Are you a cuckoo berry? I've had enough of this. Let's go ask them now. Serious? <laughs> Serious. <sighs> Let's roll one. Strawberry Shortcake Birthday Memories Video, take three. Rolling! 
Really, I thought it would be just like any other day. Because I'd forgotten what day it was. But I was about to be reminded. It began with breakfast in bed. But that was only the start. You see, this is what we do for each other on all our birthdays. We try to give them their perfect day. We have a holiday. This very special day, thanks to some very special friends. But it wasn't over yet. The day ended with a sleepover. <laughs> Which turned into a pillow fight. That scene, she loses it. Oh. <laughs> oh, did she hit? I know that. Oh. Wish I could have a birthday like that. <sighs> Mine are never fun. How come? Gotta share them with my sister, sweet. Just once, I wish I could have a birthday all my own. But. I guess that's never, ever, never gonna happen. Uh, how come? Oh, <laughs> yeah, cause she's your twin. Her birthday's always gonna be your birthday too. Wow, looks good. Thanks, Sour. <gasps> oh, and please thank Sweet too. <sighs> Turn blue. Are you sad? I was just thinking. Raspberry screen skirt is so outrageously wonderful. I don't know if my mood nails make much of a statement. Well, I think they're great. Thank you, but well, you'll barely see them in the webcast. They're not as prominent as like a hairstyle or. <gasps> ah! That's it. Forget mood nails. I'll do moody hair. We'll call them moody. Whoa! Wow! It's kind of last minute. Can you pull that off in time? The contest is tomorrow. I can try, and I always have the mood nails as backup. Well, you better get to it. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Juice cables. <gasps> it's not alive, is it? No. It's the sparkleberry juice that makes it move that way, and the energy of the emotion of whoever wears it. Behold, moody hair! Hey, Orange, I haven't been to many fashion shows, but aren't you supposed to have a model? What's going on in the dressing room? Sorry, it's taking longer than we thought to reroute all the screen skirt cables. And we haven't even added the moody hair yet. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't try to change tops. Just model one outfit. Can't have a fashion show with only one outfit. We have to find a figure 
away! Uh, we got to model at least four different tops with the screen skirt. But how? Even with both of us helping, she can't change that fast. you're always wanting us to Here be comes exactly peace and harmony. Hi, girls. We would love to watch your fashion show. Is that okay? What? We? You dragged me here. A little early for Halloween, isn't it? You're very welcome to watch. Excuse us for a second. Psst, I've got an idea. Oh! Why not use the twins as models? That way people will think it's just one model, and you can have one on camera while the other is changing. Might work. But we wanted to feature you in your kitchen, Strawberry. Strawberry would still be in the video clips on the skirt. Good point. Let me ask him. I thought the theme was technology in fashion, not monotony in fashion. I'm sure they're just ironing out some glitches. Ironing? Fashion? Clothes? <laughs> Funny, huh? No. Um, excuse me. Sour? Sweet? We have a problem we think that you could help us with. We're wondering if you could take over from me in the fashion show and be our models? <gasps> Oh, we're so flattered. Yes. W hold up. Why would anyone want to look at me? Sour, you're gorgeous. Well, of course you would say that. You look just like me. Well, you also have personal flair. I don't. You do. You have more. That's silly. Everyone will be looking at you instead of me. Won't. Well, girls. Only one of you will be on stage at a time. Uh, we have so much to do by tomorrow. Please? There's no time for arguments. There's always time for arguments. Like jelly beans. You can't have just one. Come on, Sour. It'll be fun. Oh... Okay... Thank you so much for thinking of us, Strawberry. Are you sure this moody hair thing is gonna work? Wow. It really does work. I'm impressed, Lemon. <sighs> Is, um, something wrong, Sour? <sighs> Sweet's hair looks better than mine. Oh, I think I get it. Sour's hair is green with envy. <laughs> Trust me, Sour. If both your hairstyles are fabulous, it'll be just as much my reputation as yours. Now remember, girls, the fashion webcast is tonight, so you'll have to keep your moodies on for the rest of the day. Moodies? Oh, that's cute, Lemon. I'll see you at rehearsal in half an hour. We'll be there. What's with you and this we thing? We're twins. <laughs> Not if I can help it. <laughs>